Uh, let me show you the clouds here in, in Texas. Now, that's not a sight you want to see on Monday, April 8th, is it? Okay, well, bear with me. We're going to talk about that here in a second. There's our next storm system that's coming in, and that's the one that's going to bring us that chance of thunderstorms tomorrow night. So let's talk about that because in North Texas, we're quiet tonight. Nothing to worry about this evening. Uh, overnight, we're quiet, mostly cloudy skies. There's the cap. This is what we talk about. You'll hear this many times as we go through the rest of the spring, even into the early summer. This is the air, area of warm air aloft. It prevents thunderstorms from developing. It stops rising motion upward, okay? But we get into the late afternoon, into the evening. That will erode a little bit, and thunderstorms will try to fire up in western portions of the area. That's where we're going to be watching for that chance for severe weather first, and then that will translate to a chance for severe weather for the Metroplex by after 5 o'clock, closer to 6 or 7 o'clock for most of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. There's 5, 5 o'clock from Archer City down through Stephenville. Now, with the amount of instability tomorrow, the other ingredients in place, these could turn severe quickly when they form. It's all going to depend on the cap tomorrow. We're going to keep a sharp eye on it, but hail would be the number one concern. Quarter to golf balls. This is 6 p.m. Now we're looking into Denton County, maybe even Tarrant County, up into Gainesville, farther to the south. Uh, by 7 o'clock, we're looking at Waxahachie and Corsicana for the chance of thunderstorms. Even Dallas and Collin counties around 7, then 8 and nine, you see the thunderstorms start moving east of the Dallas Fort Worth area. So it's not an all night deal. We're not going to have to track thunderstorms overnight. That's great. We're not going to have to worry about severe weather while you're sleeping. That's good news too. The cold front will move in around about two o'clock in the morning for the Dallas Fort Worth area, and that'll bring a cooler Tuesday, but it will be dry. So there it is the level two slight risk for most of North Texas, all of the Dallas Fort Worth area. My number one concern, large hail from quarters to golf balls in the strongest storms that form. Damaging winds will be second to that. A low threat for an isolated tornado. It's very low. Not everything lines up great for that tomorrow, which is good news for us. There's just maybe a little spin up here, but it's not a real big concern tomorrow. It's really the hail. Flooding, not a concern. So the coverage throughout the day just goes up, especially late afternoon into the evening, and that's where severe storms will be possible for the Dallas-Fort Worth area, 7 to 10 o'clock. So tonight's just mostly cloudy skies, warm, muggy, and breezy. 67 degrees tonight with winds out of the south, 15 to 30. Tomorrow, 82, scattered thunderstorms late in the day and into the evening. By the way, I, someone's going to ask me about this. I know on social media it always happens. That's a southwest plane. It's not a comet or anything like that. The frame rate, whatever. I'm not a camera expert. We've talked about this, but I know someone's going to ask me about it. It's a Southwest plane. Uh, 80, maybe it's the end of the world. Who knows? We'll find out shortly. Uh, south winds 15 to 30. There's the 14 day forecast. Are we still here? Uh, yeah, I'm, okay. I'm here. That's, nothing right. has gone boom. Well, we try. Well, yeah, maybe next time. Uh, 73 Thursday, 77 Friday. So after a cool down Tuesday and Wednesday, we're back up into the upper 70s. Uh oh, Teresa. Yeah. I don't like that. That's going to start an active pattern next week. And could it start at a worse time uh, than the eclipse? And that's what we're watching right now. We have a chance of thunderstorms on Monday for the eclipse. And obviously, if you have thunderstorms, you have clouds. Yeah. 